Welcome to TL Physics, my name is Sarah and today I'm going to talk about background radiation. In an exam, you may be expected to identify sources of background radiation. Now background radiation is a naturally occurring thing that happens all around us and every day we are bombarded by radiation from various sources. The types of sources you need to know are buildings, food, Cosmic rays, cosmic rays, okay, you also may experience background radiation from medical. Now it's important to remember that radiation, background radiation isn't bad, okay, there is the whole idea of radiation causing diseases, for example like cancer, it's all about statistics and probability. We all absorb radiation on a daily basis. Now, statistically, our chances of developing um, diseases like cancer because of radiation is due to the amount of radiation we get. Now, we can get radiation in addition to these kind of things here. So, for example, air travel is a big one because you're higher up in the atmosphere etc. Um, by exposing yourself to those kinds of risks of having x-rays or having VQ scans or traveling in the air, we can increase the chance, increase our radiation dose and therefore increase our chance of developing things like cancer. Just because you're exposed to radiation does not mean you are going to develop uh, cancer etc. It does mean you in statistically increase your risk. Okay, so these are the sources of background radiation. You may be asked to uh, account for these um, in uh, exams. One of the things you may have to do is you may be told that you may have a count and you may be told that background radiation is a count of four becquerels. So, for example, you are told that your count for your radiation source was 104 becquerels you know that background equals four becquerels. This means your true count is 100 becquerels. And you may be asked to apply that into calculations when you are dealing with activity or other things like that. So it's important to, when you see the word background radiation, especially if it's got a numerical aspect content, uh, added to it, to make sure that you remove that from any results that you are using. But the key part of background radiation is to just know some of the sources that you can get it from. So like I said, buildings, food, cosmic rays, medical, air travel, um, radon gas is another one as well. But the other thing you need to be aware of is how you might have to apply that into a calculation. The easiest way to see it, it's kind of like a zero error. It's a error because the scales are faulty, etc. Or the scales are reading some mass from the scale, etc. You have to zero it before you can get the true count. And exactly what I'm doing here. I've got my count on my Geiger Miller tube is 104 becquerels. My background is four, which means truly I'm only getting um, 100 becquerels. And that is background radiation.